In this second video, from our Castle Wall series, we pick up where the first video left off. We will create the first half of the wall cap. You'll learn how to quickly add flaps using the Ctrl R repeat command. How to add a glue flap to the cap, chamfer its corners, and copy and paste additional glue flaps to remaining cap flaps. Let's begin. Hey, we're going to continue our castle uh, wall. And so what I want to do is I want to create a um, some sections here that will cap off the top of this castle. So I'm only going to go halfway across here right now and then I'll bring in the other side a little bit later. But to do this, I'm going to double click on this, um, right click here and I'm going to add a, another basic flap and this is going to be, I'm going to do 9 inches here. Now, a lot of different ways you can do this and there's nothing that says what's right or wrong, but I'm going to um, do this by using my control R to add another flap and I'm just going to continue to put these flaps up. I need five of them and I'll show you why I'm doing it like this in a minute because I, I want to get the accuracy of the dimensions. So in our castle wall, going across here, we have six or, or nine inches, six inches, 12 inches, six inches, and nine inches to get to the center. So I'm going to use my active section properties over here so that I can just type in the dimensions. So the first one is nine. And so I'll hit nine. Next, I want six. We'll go 12. And six. And then nine. That way I get them nice and and um, the numbers are worked out, the dimensions are exact, and that was a quick way to do it. Another thing that I need on this, um, for this project here, is I need a, a bottom. So I'll go over here and I'll right click on this line, add a, add a line basic flap and I hit my period because I want to make this one 18 inches and that'll get me there um, I also need another end panel so I might as well use the control R to create that so because it's 18 inches as well and now what I need for uh, um, these panels here and also for these sections up here is I want to put some glue flaps on. And so let's, um, let's double click on this one up here and I'll add a glue flap on the end here. Just the same way that I've been adding them with a that line I'm going to use a basic flap. And this one I want to be two inches. And so we got our two inches. And I want to chamfer the ends on this. And there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, one is using the right click option to where you, um, at point, and you can use the chamfer corner and I can hit the end and just say I want to do two inches 
That's one way to do it. Another way that, that I like to do is just going to the active point. And over here on the active point, it shows the X and the Y dimensions. So I can just type in the two inches over here. And that also gives me the two inch chamfer here. Now because I need glue flaps all over the place, instead of recreating them, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and um, copy this using the control C and and then I'll just start putting it putting them where they're needed and I can do this throughout the whole parts which I'll do and then we'll get back to the next section of the video and we'll stop it here and, and come back in a minute